It's never too early to save a document. To do so, we can either head up to the File menu and choose Save, or use the keyboard shortcut Command-S. In the Save dialog that appears, we can first choose between saving locally on our Mac, or saving to a workspace. Saving to a workspace unlocks powerful collaborative features, like viewing designs and commenting in any web browser, downloading assets and inspecting layer properties, and even bringing other designers in to edit alongside us in real time. All of which we'll talk more about later, but all of that being said, let's save to our workspace. Let's type a name for our document. If you're an editor on multiple workspaces, you'll also have an opportunity to choose which workspace you'd like to save to. Then finally, we'll choose which project to save the document to. We'll talk more about creating specific projects to organize our documents later in the course. But for now, let's talk about a special project called My Drafts. In My Drafts, you can store documents that are not ready for other members of the workspace to see, whether it's a personal project or an idea that's just not ready to share yet. On the other hand, choosing None instead will make your document visible to other members of the workspace. By default, viewers will be able to view and inspect, and editors will be able to open and edit the document in the Mac app. Don't worry if you change your mind about this later. We'll talk plenty more about sharing and managing documents toward the end of the course. Since this unfinished document might be confusing for another team member to come across, I'll save it to my drafts for now. Once you've saved a document to your workspace, any edits you make will be saved automatically.